Hey guys, I'm Tina. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina Brady. I'm here showing you my brow tutorial. Um, I don't have very many brows, but I'm going to show you guys what I can do with them and how I do them. I'm going to show you guys with the pomade on one side and then on the other side I'm going to show you. There's a fly in here. And on the other side I'm going to show you the pencil the benefit pencil I'm gonna use. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, if you like my brows, how my brows are looking today, please keep watching. And if you guys see my look, sometimes I don't always do my looks on my channel, but I'm always on Instagram. So if you go on Instagram, I upload daily and you can see my looks and if you like them, tell me you like them and I will put them on here. Let's get into it. I start off by using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the number five. And of course I need my Sephora mirror so I can actually see my brows. Then I'm gonna go to start brushing my brow hairs upwards and then start carving out the bottom half of my brow into the outer tail end. Then I'm going into the arch of my brow and starting the shape that I like to achieve. Everybody's eyes are different and the shape of their faces as well as how far apart your eyes are and how many brow hairs you have on the inner portion of your brow. I currently have none really as you can see there. It's pretty much all product. So I'm trying to use feather like strokes to create hair-like effect where my brow should be. Then I turn my pencil sideways and start doing the same in the front portion of my brow. This for me is the most challenging part. I actually really have to be very patient during this part because it can really make or break your eyebrow when you're done. Because you really don't want it to be boxy and dark but it always ends up being that way for me. I'm actually okay with it at this point because I know it is what it is. I really have no brows there, so I'm trying to work with what I got. But I actually like the way these come out. I kind of mess up here. As you can see right there, I went a little bit lower, but then I bring those hairs up, and I really like my eyebrows to be a little bit bushy, so I kind of go for the bushy effect. I think it's because I really have no brows, so. The bushier looking the better and then i'm setting them with my brow gel and that's the 24 hour brow setter from benefit and then i'm going into my anastasia dip brow in the color ebony with my anastasia double ended spoolie brush and then i'm doing basically the same thing as i did on the other side except for now i'm using the pomade so i'm carving out the bottom part of my brow and creating that outer tail and then the upper arch and with the pomade it really goes a long way like a little bit goes a long way you really need to be light-handed and try to as you can see look I'm just doing tiny see tiny tiny little strokes flick 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 it's kind of sounds funny but that's actually what I'm doing I'm just flicking and going up 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 and then out to try to make it look like actual hairs and it really does it's really good see I kind of went too low there but it's okay my brows are never perfect and I'm actually fine with them never being perfect because I'm not perfect myself and I can only do so much but I actually am happy with the way they look and then I'm setting them like the other ones then I go into my concealer and I'm using the age rewind concealer by Maybelline I love this stuff and it's in the color caramel I believe caramel caramel dabbing that all over my eye and you see I messed up so I'm going in with the concealer that's one way you can fix it and I'm actually gonna show you in a minute here how I fix that brow because like I said the pencil is really not my friend at all times I'm going with my pomade to fix the brow because I'm not great at the pencil I just wanted to show you guys how I do the pencil as well as the pomade I can do both but I feel like I'm messing up more with the pencil versus the pomade. So I'm really fixing it here and I actually like the way it turned out. Um, and when I go in, I don't actually carve my brows out with the concealer like a lot of girls do. I just go in and then I use that brush and that's a real 
Techniques brush and I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is because I think it rubbed off. I can't actually see what it's called, but it's a real Techniques brush and it's short and stubby. I don't know what it's called, but it's an amazing brush. So see, I just dab right underneath my brow and then it ends up just setting it fine for me. And then I set it with my powder and I'm basically good to go. And I always go with a lighter powder so then I can go in with my shadow. This is the finished product. I hope you guys liked it. Hey guys, I'm back. This is the finished look. Hopefully you guys liked the tutorial. Um, eyebrows are so hard to do. I literally have the hardest time doing them because I never can get them both correct. There are ones always higher than the other or longer than the other. You just have to go based on your eyebrow shape and your head shape. Um, everybody's different. We can use the same tips and tricks and techniques, but at the end of the day, you just have to do what works for you. Um, I really prefer using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade over the pencil. I used to use the pencil all the time, but I felt like... I get a more precise, more brow-like look with the dip brow and the brush versus the pencil. I'm not that great at the pencil, as you can see. That's what I was trying to show you, that I'm not good at the pencil. But I wanted you guys to see how to do it both ways. I can't get the very precise brow hair strokes. Sometimes I can use the pencil and then I won't fill this part in. And then I'll go back into this side, the in inner part of my eyebrow. Um, I'll go back into it with the pomade. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys and your support, and hopefully this video was awesome. If you loved it, then give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next one.